Today we're going to take a quick look at the new Radeon Preview driver that introduces AFMF2. AMD Fluid Motion Frames is a frame generation technology that works through the AMD driver, doesn't need integration. Previously it only worked with DX11 and 12 games, now it can be used with uh, Vulkan and OpenGL through this Preview driver. Also, previously AFMF would disengage itself whenever there was fast camera movements. Now they've given us an option. So if you go to search mode and set it to high, the high setting, it actually prevents AFMF from disengaging. So it'll stay engaged all the time. So then, how is AFMF 2? Is it an improvement over AFMF 1? Well, yes it is, actually. I took a look at AFMF 1 in a few videos and I wasn't a fan uh, it just, I felt the image quality definitely took a hit. Uh, there was image overlapping between the generated and the real frames. The generated quality of the frame wasn't very good and that was noticeable, especially in games like this, third person where you're moving the camera, that's when the flaws kept popping up. But also high complex geometry assets like trees or fences, stuff like that. Uh, there'd always be this like layer of blur that, that was very distracting. And um, they've improved that here. Although that, that blurring issue is still there, uh, the frame overlapping, that's the best way I can describe it, but that's what it looked like. It's not really present as much. Uh, it's definitely improved. Now in this comparison here, I've put in AFMF on the left and FSR3 frame generation on the right. You can see on the left with the AMD overlay FPS 120 and then MSI Afterburn is shown 60. So we've capped the FPS to 60 and then AFMF is doubling that, right? Now, FSR3 frame generation works. It's, it's definitely way better. Uh, the image looks clearer. It actually looks a bit smoother as well. And it doesn't have the blurring issues that AFMF2 does. And we're actually going to take a look at why that is. Why does FSR3 frame generation look a bit smoother and the blurring issue as well? Now, the reason why FSR3 frame generation looks better is because it can generate higher quality frames because it's integrated directly into the game by the developers that has access to more data. So it can generate a cleaner quality frame. For example, this is our AFMF footage here. We're looking at it frame by frame. This here would be a real frame. You can tell it's nice and crisp. Every character, everything looks as you would expect. Now the next frame here, this is a generated frame from AFMF. As you can see here, there's a lot more blurring and then there's almost that, that like double vision effect, right? You look at this character here to our left and you can see it's like a, a double outline of her character. Now, if we were to look at FSR 3 frame generation, right? Look at this. We have a, a, a real frame here and we're skipping forward, right? And you can see it on Miles' shadow, how it doubles. That's a fake frame. Look at the outline of this guy. You can see that there's a bit of a previous frame left over on the outline of the body. But other than that, though, look at how clear and crisp every character looks. Miles' shadow is doubled, but other than that, everything looks very comparable to the real frame. So even FSR 3 frame generation has actually improved quite a bit from what I remember when I last examined it frame by frame. Here we go. We have another remnant of the previous frame that's cut into Spider-Man now, but you don't see that blurring, that double vision that you do in AFMF, right? Yeah, it's a leftover from the previous frame but it's still, uh, it's leagues better than AFMF basically is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, the, the quality of the generated frames basically make or break any frame generation technique, right? And that's why FSR3 uh, is, is definitely more superior and why it looks cleaner and why it even uh, feels even more fluid, even though it has less frames because those generated frames are a better match, basically a better transition between the real frames than AFMF was. But since AFMF has improved, you can definitely tell. But I wanted to take a look at Horizon Forbidden West, where there's a lot more complex geometry, uh, because it'll vary from game to game. In Horizon Forbidden West, I felt it didn't look good at all, actually. Now look at as we pan the camera around and you look at the grass, Every time the camera moves, 
you get this like smearing of blur over the grass and over the trees sometimes. And that's uh, basically what we digged into in Spider-Man Miles Morales was that the AFMF still, the generated frames, has a bit of a trouble with like high complex geometry assets like grass or trees and that it's like they're, they're duplicated in the generated frames and that leads into this like smearing effect over the finer details right so this is afmf2 here and you can clearly see it on the grass as we pan the camera around now this is slowed down footage but if you play it at 100% speed, you can still see it. For example, here's uh, FMF at 100% speed. Now, if we were to look at FSR3 frame generation instead, even though we've slowed down the footage, right, it looks consistently clean. And that is actually very impressive because these are generated frames still and there's still very complex geometry here and it actually looks pretty good. The only thing that stands out with FSR3 frame generation is the compass on the top. Looks like it may be decoupled from frame generation, which is a feature of FSR3 frame generation, I believe. But other than that, the overall image quality and fluidity, very consistent and uh, very comparable to the real frames. There's nothing really that stands out that, that impacts the image quality, you know, that, that, that is in your face, basically. And here's at 100%, very smooth with FSR3 frame generation. But like I said, a lot will vary on the type of game. For example, this is the demo for Visions of Mana. I'm actually very excited to play this. But a game like this that's cell shaded actually, AFMF works pretty good. However, you still do pick up on some of those flaws in the grass. But it's not as in your face as it is in Horizon Forbidden West. Here it actually looks pretty good. Now, I could just enable FSR quality and get 120 FPS uh, natively, which I would... Uh, Definitely much rather do that, but AFMF in this particular case actually works pretty good. It's not really, doesn't look, doesn't look bad actually, uh, because there isn't a lot of complex geometry. So I think FMF still has ways to go, um, definitely, but this is most definitely an improvement. And I've also heard that they've improved the latency. Now, I, I'm not a sweaty multiplayer player, so I can't say that I've had any problems with latency with any of these technologies, even AFMF, uh, FSR3, DLSS3 frame generation. It's actually been fine. I, I can't say that I have any complaints in that department. For me, it's always been image quality because I do value image quality. And there's certain things that bother me that may not bother someone else. And that's perfectly fine. These are just my thoughts. And obviously, you should try everything yourself. And uh, if you like something and it works for you, use it. That's it. But let me know what you think down below and leave a like if you liked it. And consider subscribing if you want to see more content. Peace.